people of color in this nation, we have a responsibility to stand up for social justice whenever it is violated. And we at the NAACP refuse to turn a blind eye to the estimated 11 million undocumented immigrants who live in permanent second-class citizenship. To you we say, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. And you matter to me. We know that undocumented workers are exploited on a regular basis and many business owners pay low wages and provide dangerous working conditions for their undocumented workers with little fear of retaliation. Racial profiling in this nation must end in states like Alabama and Arizona where our brothers and our sisters are harassed because of their status. Our national immigration laws in conjunction with state laws encourage local police to stop people of color whether they are undocumented or not. And so we come now to say on this mall that enough is enough. Enough is enough. And so we stand with you, our brothers and our sisters, in the fight for true immigration reform. What we know is clear, that our immigration reform system is not working. And it's time for us to enact fair and humane immigration reform that keeps our families united and protects refugees and other vulnerable migrants. Immigration reform with a roadmap to citizenship is the right thing to do. And we must do it when? Now. We must do it now. There is a call upon our lives that we have to be good help to those in need. And so I ask those of you who are here on this mall and under the sound of my voice to commit yourselves anew to actively work to promote immigration reform that results in achievable citizenship because you deserve the right to have citizenship in this nation. Because lest we forget that there was a time when all of us were strangers in this land. Lest we forget that we were all strangers in this land. And so I say, my friends, through our efforts and through our prayers, we must continue to work together, to pray together, to stand together, and to speak truth to power together. As a community of faith, we must call on this Congress who fails to act, to act now to change immigration reform in this nation. I truly believe that if we continue to stand together in unity, if we continue to pray together as a community, lives, hearts, and minds on that hill will be transformed.